As for everything, Brody, I'll be extra careful. I'm a better writer than I'm a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while I'm 10 hours asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. It's as functional as it can be, family's family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her bile against cancer and I have to be there. You'll find a few dollars in a backpack. It's all the cash I've left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you're here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances. I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. Hit me up when you're safe. What a legend. Uh, is it alright if I sit in your bed and watch TV? I swear, I'll sleep in line after. Yeah, yeah, okay. But don't try and trick me. Oh, cool! Hot Dog Man is on! <sighs> yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Free Ooh, ice, free Wi-Fi. You can't yeah, have a better deal than that. <laughs> what are the rules? No worries. We don't have to build a fire tonight. We are not over 21. We are not smoking. We will not have loud noise. No. We'll probably not cook. And... Yeah, we're definitely not over... Is he 21? He might be. Definitely doing a bubble bath. Fill her up. Ugh. Yuck, Sean. There's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey! Don't touch that. It was useful at the time. May maybe. It was Dang, maybe gonna be useful at the time. Could still be useful now. They can be used for other things. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. <sighs> Damn. That fucking redneck hit me hard. Turn the other cheek, they said. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. <laughs> yeah, right. You, c you can't overfill the bath, can we? If I sit in your bed and watch TV? We've already had that. I swear. I'll sleep in. So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes! And they get to meet the city mayo! <sighs> Man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. It feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. She's in a bat. Nah, -uh, very bad. They they knew what's up. They took off their shoes, especially the dog. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know. <sighs> Is it overflowing? Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Nope. Well, I think we're in a good position. Turn that off. I put the towels here somewhere. Towels, towels, put the towels. Yeah, put the towels. Daniel! 
You have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god! Whoa! So many bubbles! Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will! Promise! Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Really? All those cool characters? Time to say goodbye to modern life. It felt like... God damn it. I actually liked our best friend character. She was awesome. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. I mean, we're calling her. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh god. Are you okay? Not I really. Or, I, or, or we can say, I guess. Uh, I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but... We can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel... Bullshit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. But we're leaving. We're going to Mexico. I guess... the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So... Where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. Now we throw it. Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And action. Daniel, get your butt in here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. <laughs> what is this? Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Dude, check out your face. Put it in the ashtray. Smoke it. Smoke it real hard. All those rare metals, they'll taste real good. They'll get you high, man. And maybe dead.
Okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Oh, man. We haven't played Guitar Fighter for years. You never did my score. You played on easy mode. I was on hardcore, You're dude. so jealous. I'm the best guitar player. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Riveting gameplay like you've never seen before. Moving up and down doesn't seem to do anything. But. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? If he climbs out of the window, I'll be <laughs> annoyed mildly. Two bucks! Crazy. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Where is the plot of this game going? 
Is it? <laughs> I have no idea. We're really gonna go to Mexico. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. were alone and they had to find a new home they started a journey through a great big this bus going? Straight to Mexico. It's a bus to Mexico. 20 bucks. 20 bucks for the bus to Mexico. It's a two, two week trip. How long? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know distances in cars. It's three and a half feet miles. That's a classic American measurement. And I think that's the end of episode one. Join me next week, or probably tomorrow, when we do episode two. Episode one is roads. We're, we're, we're haunted because a cop's car got thrown around. And they're like, that little boy did it. <laughs>